revealed identities of rogue police officers who extorted 22 million worth of Bitcoin from young men at gunpoint in Lagos. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The duo said they were treated like animals. While Wawe, a former public relations officer of the Sokoto and Akwaibom State Police Command, respectively asked the officers to kill them if they cannot pay 20 million naira as bail. Are you listening to this, Nigerians? So, this same Lagos where they killed people at Lekki Togit because those people were protesting against police brutality. This thing is still happening, Nabi. Hmm. <laughs> The same Lagos that they killed people and the government are still covering it up till today. Calling people fools. Playing on people's intelligence. Some gullible ones that I know that it will visit them soon. They are still coming out to say that nothing happened. Now, are you listening to this? Sincerely, see the use of this country. I give it to you people. You people are intelligent. You people are hardworking. You people are what they call you are determined not to allow the country to put you at a point. Nigerian youth are wonderful. Since I have not seen people, I never see people wear those rituals. I never see people wear those rituals at all. Allow me to switch. For those ones that get their heads together, they don't want to seem, they don't want to see, they, you clamp down on them to get they're looking for another means tomorrow. Kudos to you. If nobody go hell on go hell on Now they try. Forget. You see this Nigerian youth. The government openly came and said, we are not going to give you people jobs. These people say, no problem. You will see graduate of chemical engineering. When I say graduate, I mean first class and second class. You see them. When they have looked for jobs and they will not see, what do they do? They look around, well, how can I make money? Even if it is, if, even if it is, you see them, most of them online, they are comedians. Most of them online, selling wigs, selling with on, helping themselves. So far, that thing brings food on the table that is legal. It is not illegal. It is not putting harm to them. It is not putting harm to the society. It is not spoiling their name. Sincerely, anything you know you are doing that is good, do it. This government that have told us that they will not provide jobs for us. This government that is still planning, they are, they are planning to extort from us next year. From next year, they will increase the uh, full price of petroleum. They say they are removing subsidy. The same next year, the CBN governor, Emir Philly, came out which day to say that they should start tolling some certain rules and legals to repay funds. Funds that we did not loot with them. Are you listening to this? This same, see, I see some people, eh, there are some way you talk to armed robbers. Armed robbers might listen to you, but you see Nigerian police force, they are worse than assassins. You are running from assassins. There was, there is one particular video that, that is going on viral on, on, on internet. I don't know if, if you have seen it. They portrayed the position where armed robbers were actually chasing a the boy. They wanted to shoot that boy, but they said no. No, no, shoot her. It is money we want. They were chasing him and before you know it, in front were policemen and they ran into the police. Before you know, the police shot those guys and took their money. This is a typical example of what is happening in Nigeria. This is it. <laughs> I just hope that the ones that keep sponsoring these people, you keep vouching for them. You keep eating crumbs from their table. I want to know how long you can put up with this. I want to know which of your generation you can train with this pattern. Now let's listen to the news in detail. A deputy superintendent of police with force number 14534, Cordelia Mwawe, and Inspector Austin, was attached to First Criminal Investigation Department. Annex Alagmo Close, Lagos State, have been identified as officers who extorted 22 million worth, 22 million naira worth of Bitcoin from two young Nigerians, Morakinyo, Tobi, Tobi Loba, Peter, and Yusuf Samson, Dayo. Sahara reporters have reported that Peter and Dayo, both realtors, were stopped on July 14, 2021, while driving along the Ikoyi Aja Expressway by a team of police officers in Mufti, led by Austin, who adopted a fictitious name, Osas. The duo said they were treated like criminals, while one way a former public relations officer of the Sokoto and Okwaibom State Police Command respectively asked the officers to kill them if they cannot pay 20 million naira as bail. 
We were driving at the Ikoyi Ajay Expressway precisely 1004 on the 14th of July 2021 when a team of police officers and Mufti accosted us and ordered us to park. We parked and the police officers jumped into the car and ordered us to open our phones. One of the victims had told her reporters. Since we have nothing to hide, we gave them our phones and they found nothing incriminating. To our surprise, they ordered us to drive down to the office. We insisted we must know our offenses before we can move down to the station. But the police officer descended on us and beat us for disobedience. They claimed we were too fresh not to be a fraudster. We begged them and showed them that we are realtors. We gave them our identity cards and showed them some of our ongoing projects, but they insisted we were fraudsters. When we got to the police station at FCID Annex Alagmo Close, Lagos, we were quickly pushed into the cell and they went away with our mobile phones. The police officers returned some hours later and told us we were trading in bitcoins. Before we knew it, they started beating us and calling us Yahoo boys. We told them we were not Yahoo boys. We explained that we are realtors and it was because of the decline in Naira that we converted our money into bitcoin. But they kept beating us and they shared we should write statements at, at about 8 p.m. in the night, he added. The duo added that the statements written by them were torn into pieces by the policemen while they were forced to sign another one written by the officers alleging that they were innocent internet fraudsters. We wrote the statement and they tore it into pieces and wrote another statement for us and forced us to sign it. We did sign the statement and they took them before their boss. DSP Cordelia Wanwe with first number 145341 at midsection. FCID Anna Xalag Lagos, they added. Mrs. Uwawe asked her officers what happened and they narrated the whole story to her. They told her we are Yahoo boys, which we denied, and the woman said they should give us bail condition. They demanded 20 million naira from us, and we said we don't have such amount of money. The woman said they should go and kill us if we insist we cannot pay the 20 million naira as bail. Are you hearing this list, um, um, fellow Nigerians? These are people that will come out and they will extort from you. They will extort from us. They will extort from our parents. They will extort from our children. This is very annoying. Like, there, this is the height of it. See, that is why it is not a cause. But you can see anybody who's, whose mother, your mother, your father is partaking in this. I don't care, but sorry, a generation course is already following you. It is not course, but that is just it. Do you know people sweat? How people toy to get the money? And you just come and point gun on their heads. Sincerely, it is not a course, but the course is already following your family. It cannot be pushed away. Prayer and fasting cannot do anything. This one, it is annoying now. That's you that is working your ass out. 